back, I'm Carmen and we're here at Align Pilates and today we're going to take a look at using one of Joe's uh, apparatus called the Cadillac and this was a request I had um, in, on Instagram when I asked what would you like to see as videos. So we're going to use the Cadillac but we're going to use it in a way that it helps the student learn a little bit more about her mat Pilates. Okay, let's get started. Here we are, I've asked my student Ruth to help us uh, look at her roll-up. When I asked Ruth um, what she found a little bit tricky in her mat work, it was the roll-up. And she also wanted to see some stuff or done on the Cadillac. So I thought I'd bring her in and we would kind of put the two together and see if the Cadillac can actually inform her body more about her roll-up. So first let's take a look at her roll-up on the mat. So Ruth, I'll have you come to so slide down here and put your feet into your strap and then lie down. Okay, good. And in the, my previous video, I talked about a tip where if you're using your legs, lower legs too much for your roll up, you can use the strap and think about that tip. We're going to use uh, the Cadillac in this video to see how we can get some more curve out of uh, Ruth's spine, because I think that's what her biggest thing. Would you agree, Ruth? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so Ruth, bring your arms up towards the ceiling. Good. And then just lower your chin down a bit and relax. She has beautiful hair and it just sort of sits on, <laughs> sits in the way a bit. And then lower your ribs towards your pelvis a bit. So just bring your, yeah, there you go, you connect. And then bring your arms back for a stretch and then come forward. Bring your arms forward, lift the head. And she's going to do her roll up. She's going to round. That's it. Good. Not bad. That's great. Now use your strap and curl back. Right. And let's do it one more time. And I'm going to tell you why Mat Pilates is actually harder then using your apparatus and coming up. So here she has nothing but gravity and her own muscles to create the muscles to contract, to go up. And then when she goes down, she has to use her own body's resistance. So resist falling, so resist to fall there, which does help to um, dial into those abdominals more. So up you go again one last time. She's coming up and she's coming around. She's going to pull the stomach back a little more to get a little deeper, easy neck there, not so much. There you go, and back down. And again, find that resistance of gravity working against you and you are using that. Okay, awesome. Good, not too bad. But let's bring the Cadillac and look at her roll up and how the Cadillac can actually inform her roll up even more. Okay, here we are with the Cadillac. So Ruth, I'll have you face this direction and place your heels against the poles and take a hold of your rollback bar. So, very similar to the mat work is you hold a bar when you're doing the roll up, which we forgot, but that's okay. We know it from practice. And then the heels are coming into there, working against here. Now, we're going to see how the equipment, his equipment, assists her, helps her to deepen her idea of getting into those abdominals, which then, of course, bend our spine, okay? So starting nice and tall, and then again, as we talked about, pull the spring back with your stomach. Reach into the heels and keep pulling in and down to the mat. And that's the same idea as in her roll up. Let, the, let your body hang a bit back. Let your hang back. Yeah, into it more. Let, re, re, allow this to hang you. Good. And then pull the stomach back. Right. Good. So someone who's struggling with the roll up is is really they need to get on the Cadillac and add that into the routine. Let's do that again. So that's 
reach through the heels to take your body over top of you. There. Very nice, Ruth. And sit tall. What's your thoughts on using the, you can let the bar go, Ruth. What's your thoughts on the, using the rollback bar for your roll up? Were you thinking about each other, like they're kind of similar? Yes. Yeah. yeah, they're like cousins. Yeah. <laughs> That's the cool thing about his work, right? It's quite related. I'm going to take you to this side now, to the push through bar. And she's going to put her feet against there. We're going to do it without the sprain first. Now the great thing here is she's got again the feedback of his equipment here through the heels, reaching long, and then she's got some information here. She's holding something and she has to hold it up in the air, way up, but she has to hold it way up without involving too much shoulders. There we go, that's it. And then she's going to roll back on the mat like she's doing her roll up. She's going down the mat. And then she's going forward in her roll up. Yeah. And back you go. Watch. Oop. Oop. Go back. Go back. Right. Just like you're going to keep your tailbone underneath you. Uh uh. Uh uh. Yes. And lift up. Very good. Now I'm being kind of mean. I'm not giving her any spring. <laughs> she's kind of having to figure this out in space without. Um, the resistance. I'm using the bar without a spring for Ruth to help her kind of inform her body about her arms a bit. Nope, tailbone under. Yep, and then up. Cool. Okay, so now I'm going to give her a spring. And it's the same idea in her roll up on the mat. She has to use her own muscles to pull back her body. And now there's even more she has to work with. Way to go, Ruth. Good luck. Just use your stomach to pull it down. Yeah. Great. Good. Watch your tailbone. Keep it where it is, underneath you. Mm -hmm. Now when she comes back, there's so much tension here, she has to be able to control that. Right. Good. And back. Straight arms. Straight roots. Good. Reach into here more. That's it.